Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how we can deploy with Stacks. Stacks is like Compose files. It's a, it's a file you're creating in a, G, a YAML file and then you create your, your services and the rules and every single services. Uh, every single services is a part of the images and having the rules like replicates, memory, CPU using and, and something, everything you can think about to about uh, a single container when you need to deploy it on a production environment or a development environment of course that's what you use uh, a stack file to but of course if you have working with compose files you, you know normally you can create a docker file and then say uh, copy the the files from this folder into my images and then build the image that's not allowed in a stack file Stack file expect you have the images completed and done, uploaded for your registry, and then when you use use the stack, you will download it down and then just deploy it out. That's how the stack working. So let's create the first uh, GML file. I will create the nginx uh, proxy. It's uh, pretty easy. So let's go ahead. We can call it the uh, nginx YAML file. And then when the file is uh, open, we need to define the version here. I use uh, 3.7 uh, and then we of course can go down to say service and I'll use two spaces. I'll call it proxy and I'll use nginx. Then we can say sudo so docker stack deploy. And then we need to pick up which file we want to deploy with, and in this case, it's the nginx YAML file. And I will call the web server. Then you can see it's have creating the the network web server default, and then it's creating the service called web server proxy. When you have the stack, you design the name, and then the stack will always call the network and the services from the stack name underscore and then the names you have to cite inside. It's very useful and it's very nice to organize your stacks. So let's say so do dog on network ls and you can see we have the web server here default. And when we have the sudo dogger stack ls we have it here. It's a in the swarm and it's here. So let's see ps and here you can see it's it's running a node on the docker swarm manager 2 and it's running the proxy one of those so everything here is fine it could be nice to know how you can update your um, your stack if you let's say you have an iteration where you need to use uh, six of the proxies so and you don't know how to do this you can of course you can log into the manager and just type scale and equal to six but it could be much more nice to have in a file so you can control what's happening and then just deploying the, f the file. And the way you can do this, I'll just copy the nginx here and I'll call it nginx scale YAML file and then we use the scale file here. And in the proxy we're going up here and say replicate deploy and when we deploy I'll use replicate and we'll say we use six that's fine and the only thing we want to do now is just to say to do docker stack deploy and then see nginx yaml file and then web server and here we go it's updating up let's say to do um, docker service ls and see this and to so do ps and we have running here to so do docker stack ps and the web server and we have one here it's big yeah it's because I need the scale and here we go we have six that's running we have one manager 2, worker 1, worker 2, worker manager 1, 
manager one and worker three. So right now you're running on five servers. The manager one have two containers, so that's fine. And let's say you want to go and back online to say we only want one. And then we can just say update and then have destroyed. When we follow up here, it should be destroyed here. Yeah, you can see remove, remove, remove. And now it's running, only one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. And now understand how you can use the stack files to deploy your Docker images. And of course, I really hope you enjoy this video and want to subscribe to this uh, channel and get more tech videos from me. I really love to teach. So if you have any questions, please make a comment below and share this video with your friends add it for a playlist and hit the like button. Thank you so much for subscribing and of, co of course you can find uh, those two files here on GitHub. It's completely free and you can follow me on GitHub too. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.